what is up guys and welcome back to cyberpunk in the previous video we did uh i want to say chipping in yes we did chipping in we got uh Malorian arms so this gun i have in my hand now johnny's gun i haven't had time to try it out so we'll try it out in this video first and foremost we will be meeting judy um, for our date i want to see if it is different than our date with mm, river and then we've got blistering love so we'll probably do blistering love in this video and then uh see what else comes up hello oh for a moment i thought this was my apartment i was like holy crap all the candles hey finally so romantic okay. hi you comfortable uh let's sit i was virtue tuning going scroll anything preem lately depends what you call preem does smut count <laughs> Um, let's change the subject. I take an interest in everything. Why do you work in porn? How did you get into brain dances? Guess I kind of have to be into a little bit of everything. When it comes to virtues, I'm mostly in it for the intel. You mean seeing who killed, who using what? Yeah, something like that. But you see it differently. For you, it's art. <laughs> Always wondered. Why the smut industry? Isn't it obvious? Two minutes of real feels a week's pay. Sure, but I thought someone like you wouldn't be into the whole objectification thing. Objectification? Not in my virtues. My actors love what they do, and that's why everyone wants to feel them. Can't fake old school emotions. I feel like we've had this conversation before. How'd you get into virtues anyway? I always had a techie streak ever since I was a little kid. When I felt my first virtue, I was like, hey, I can make this way better. So I tried, and I did. And then it just snowballed from there. Come here. I still- Now for some fun. Are we even together? I don't know, because we haven't had that conversation. Oh, how did you do your eyeliner? I love it. If I wasn't always on the move, you and I could spend more time together. Enjoy life. Quality over quantity, V. Just focus on tying up all your loose ends. Then you and I are leaving this city once and for all. I can't. I'm dying. <sighs> Try to. Helps to keep it at the back of my mind. Guarantee it does. People already say I've got a bounce in my step. Let's talk for a little while longer before I have to delta somewhere. For you, I've got all day. What's new with the mocks? Susie isn't giving me the time of day, as usual. Couldn't you replace Susie and lead the mocks? <laughs> no way in hell. I'll stick with tuning virtues, thank you very much. If you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a people person. How'd you hook up with the mocks in the first place? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. I believed in them. Winded up business as usual? I mean, I wouldn't go that far. A few Joy Toys lives really change for the better thanks to them. Got another question on my mind. Shoot. Oh, sorry, I don't actually. Is there nothing else we can do in this apartment? Like, in the other apartment, we could, um... 
McDonald's. Tea set. You want some tea? My gosh, offer her some tea. Cream as hell, right? Smoke, drink whiskey, stand. Okay. We literally can't dance. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Dance. <laughs> awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Are we going to do awkward dances again? Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Judy and River look just as awkward. <laughs> Each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder if you finish the whole song, does it play another song? Or do they just automatically stop? I hope it's not a copyright song. I did switch the mode where it doesn't play copyright music. Because I know it's in the show. Okay, let's just get to the good parts and then we'll stop. Oh, Judy! Let's go! <laughs> she is having a fat party. Oh, there you go. Oh, we stop. Oh, wow. She just walks off abruptly. She's like, okay, I'm over this. Bye. Bye. You want to come? Let's go shower. Gosh, Judy's hair must take a lot of maintaining. First of all, short hair is a lot of work. Like, it's, it's a lot more work than long hair. And then well, she's all the, got on. all that color. Come on. Where mm -hmm. are we going? I see everything. I know, right? I look good. Ooh. You want to come look at my stuff? Come look at my guns. Let's actually put some stuff in my stash that I don't use. Uh, how do I... How do I use my stash, guys? Or can I not do it while she's here? How do I use stash? Okay, it doesn't seem like I can do it. All right, let me change my clothing. Let's put on PJs. Oh, I didn't put my girlfriend outfit on. V, looking good. I know, right? We're both in our PJs, except your PJs are a lot more... Um, a lot more, I don't know. Yeah, a lot less close Keeps than late. mine. Hey, Kittabelle! Gotta keep fit. Okay, let's... Well, actually, we should do late, because I have to call... Uh, I think I meet what's her face... Uh, later in the day. She's got such big eyes. 
I think that's what makes her very attractive. She's got giant eyes. Can I go into my stash now? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So we'll keep hypocritical. We'll keep Overwatch. I don't use Widowmaker anymore, so we'll put that away. We can't put Skippy away. Oh, I'm so mad. I know I messed up Skippy. Oh, and that I should have chosen. What you call um, puppy loving thingy. Scalpel. I don't use Scalpel anymore. Jinjumaru. Bayako. Hmm. Which ones do I have equipped, guys? I've got... Tumetogi? Uh, Tumetogi? And Jinjumaru. 25-20. 25-25. 17. 129, 17, 106. I mean, uh, okay. Hey, Oxalotl. Isn't that what I should use? Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Hold. Why am I naked? Oh, I already have Oxalotl on me. Okay. Um, did any of it go on the wall? I need. Oh, here, yeah, some of the guns. Dicks. I wish I could tell. Whose gun is what? Like, I wish the name was there. I cannot see shit. That's Nahan. I don't know which katana that is. Ooh, there's the hammer. Whoa, look at that. Hmm. I wish I could tell what was what in the butt. And the other guns I have to craft. Okay, let's put back on every day and let's go let's call what's her face rogue bye judy and i should probably put on some clothes because apparently i'm naked I think it's when I shower, then she takes off clothes. And then I need to re-equip. Uh-huh. Okay, let's just leave the area. Uh, mm-hmm, Calabasita, bet you know what I'm thinking. I'd love seeing you, seriously. Thanks for finding some time for me. Give me a holler when you find some more time. Thank you for being there. You know I will probably sooner than you think. Holler! Thank you for being there. Come on, stop being so damn perfect all the time. Kisses, hugs, and snugs. Aw. How cutie patootie. Okay, so let's quickly put on some clothes because I'm butt-ass naked. Uh, I like this one for the stats. Johnny, optical zoom, chemical resistance, quick hack. Let's put the zoom. Uh, armor, yes. Hmm. Let's just wear Johnny shirts, pants. I don't think any of them have stats, so let's just put on Johnny, Johnny. Okay, so at least we're not running around naked. And then we are going to call Rogue. 
Uh, this one, sorry. V. Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? <laughs> Johnny? You're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where'd we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife. Pick you up. Wow, she's like a really got to tell you swing by in the evening got other things on my plate right now okay this evening then after life i'll be there till then bye you busy okay should we skip some time oh it's very early in the morning i was gonna say okay i guess we can do some gigs in the middle but I don't know how long Blistery Love would be. I want. I don't know if you want to watch gigs. Nope. Have I seen this statue before? I feel like I have, but I haven't. Because I know I've been in the square before, for sure. Huh. The reflection on the road, the wet surface, so good. So good, man. What is this? What is this place? What? In this Whoa. Okay, there's something on the is it that one? Yes. The tower. Where are you? Where are you? Here? The world. Uh, the tower. Here we go. Sorry. The tower is an omen of a radical change, chaos, and destruction. The lightning striking the tower signifies a return to the old order that lies buried under the ruins and a new order that will rise from it. It is a symbol of tragedy, apocalypse, and self destruction. Shit's gonna go down here. Oh, this. We must come back here for some mission or something. Or is this the old Arasaka Tower? Yoo hoo! No, what rhymes with Judy? Booty! Uh huh, uh huh. You're so cute. Hey, you okay? You're so. You sound weird. Just out with some friends. Ferns, friends. She drunk. Okay, so you're drunk. Definitely drunk. Long message. Well, maybe just a little bit. Just don't go too crazy, all right? Big sword didn't happen. <laughs> You could at least send me some stills. Fine, knock yourself out. What is that even? It's a fish? It's a fish. <gasps> oh my gosh. So, is this the old Arasaka Tower that there was an explosion? Oh, this must be it. You know who I am. That Johnny blew up this place. Wow. 2023, yes, Arasaka Memorial. Wow. Okay, let's go through this place. Can you just jump down here? Oh no, I can't.
No. It's not a very big memorial. Or they probably don't open it up right now. Okay, this must be... They must have names of all the people who died on these. I'm assuming this is some kind of columbarium as well. It's really dark. And I did put, turn up the brightness on my monitor already. So I did not forget this time. Wow, it's super dark. Okay, uh, how do I get out of here? Okay, let's just... I'm confused. Oh, you want me to go through here? Ugh, oh, I'm sorry, and a little embarrassed. Already? Like, she messaged me already? Nah, not really. Just a girl's night out. Couple substances. Never ending tequila. You get the idea, right? Xan says hi, by the way. Or did she? Talk to you later. Gonna go back to bed. Before I forget something for you. Sent it to your apartment. Sorry again. Good night. Why are you feeling bad? Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. It's only 10 p.m. It obviously wasn't that wild. <laughs> it's only 10 p.m. Like, what the fuck? Maelstrom fanatic. What's going on here, friends? NCPD. Oh. <gasps> Can we try do this? Oh, oh Jesus, this thing scared me. Oh shit! I'm not built for gunfights. Oh. Come here, come here. I wanna, sh shot and we're done. I wanna shoot the thing! Uh. Oh, fuck. Nope, guys. I'm not both full. Oh! I found out I'm not both for this either! Come here! Uh, fucking hit. Push your fucking head. I hit you! Y'all dead? Y'all dead? Oh, okay. Stop! Oh my god! That always gets me! Jeepers! Ah, oh, that always gets me, eh? Noise, noise, noise! Oh, sorry, friend. Who got the evidence? Matt Duda, well, well, what? Supposed to send that connect. Supposed to send that connect? Fuck, sorry, busy with new Militech toy, forgot. No worries. So, you guys got to got to that Arasaka warehouse. You'll find Pete there, my tomb. He'll shut off the cams, let you in. Shit, the gonk might even offer you tea and cookies. Once you're in, delete Pete's tombs. Oh, mean. Too many mouths to feed, too few eddies. Sure, effort. I like to keep my iron warm. What we grab in. Okay, so they're grabbing all these weapons. Make sure you take him out of the crates. Those things got transmitters. Cool. We'll handle it. And remember, if you got a clip, you clip right. Because if they catch you, dude, we'll get him. Bingo. Uh, okay, so they were after... Some serious weapons. 
And I'm assuming these are all the weapons we're picking up now. The ones that they just used against us. I'm gonna run out of space. There is a tier 5 something lying around here. Here? No. Oh, it was him. Oh, Lizzie! Need your help. I'm kind of busy at the Same moment. Same spot as last time. Don't make me wait. Oh, what it's is it? Time sensitive. Hers. Hello, Lizzie. Oh, hers are probably time sensitive. Fuck. Uh. Okay. Should we go do hers quickly? Damn it! We already. Okay, I'm, I have a feeling Lizzie Wizzy's one is time sensitive because she's like, don't make me wait. So we're gonna go quickly do hers. Normally there's some or other, there's another conversation to read. <gasps> Lizzie, why, why you do this? Ah, oh, damn it. All right, let's quickly go do uh, hers. Sorry. I'm joking everyone. I can't go there. I'm not on the road. No, I'm just joking everyone around here, but I don't want to miss it. Uh, how do we get to the... Fast travel point. Take me there. This way? Ah. I'm sorry, Rogue. Taste the love. Now I feel really bad. Uh, hopefully I don't mess up Rogue. Whilst I'm literally gonna reload my last uh, manual save point. <laughs> and then go to her much earlier. That's what I'll do if, I, if I've messed up Blistering Love. And then I'll just redo violence some other time. What's happening here? Hi. The motel again. The one where we got murdered. Lizzie, what in the... <gasps> Fuck. Oh, you killed him. Now I get the rush. Because I told her about him. V, I... I, I was angry. I, I, I pushed him. These fucking arms, these hands. No wonder he was scared. For a reason. Oh, Jesus. You ever wake up in the middle of the night and not know who you were for a second? Shit. Guys or, in I mean, You ever feel like you weren't really you? I, I strangled him, Lizzie. That's how I feel Slowly. all the time. You crushed Every his spine. Every moment. I, I was angry. I must have lost control. I just wanted to break up with him, you know? Tell him I wanted him out of my life. But I, I don't even know how, when, I, I... Oh, Lizzie. Sorry. Eh, God, what was coming to him? What's done is done. Uh, he was afraid of this and now I'm afraid. So Liam really did have a reason to be afraid of you. I didn't mean to, understand? I didn't mean to! Even if you didn't mean sure, to, you did it! Maybe. All the same to him, though. Yeah. If I. Hold on. Wounds, not self inflicted. So this is about the body, right? That's why you called? Yes, I. The media can't hear about this. Got it? That would be. Oh. Huh? Oh, shit. Now she's changed. Just. 
like that. The world would eat it up. A tale of the temptation to control another's memory. A grim reminder that a person is merely a collection of bites that can be copied, reproduced, copied, reproduced. Lizzie, snap the fuck out of it. What about the body? I don't know. Do whatever. Take it somewhere. Burn it. I'll pay you. Not doing it. I mean, I don't want to do it, but I kind of want to know what happens if I say yes, I'll take care of it. Okay, guys. We took her side in this. And we told her the truth. So, did we do this? And now I'm worried about her. And I don't want to do this personally, but I'm going to say I'll take care of it because I want to see what happens in the story. Or if we say not doing it, we're forced into doing it. What happens? What happens? What happens? If, guys, I don't know what to say. I'm curious. This is what I want to say. I'm curious. This is what I'm going to say. I'm curious. This is what I'm going to say. Okay, I'm going to... Oopsie, oopsie. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'll take care of it. You sleep soundly now. What did I... What have I done? Sleep? I won't sleep. I don't need to. Thank you, Liam. You don't realize it, but... You've given me something beautiful. The hell are you talking Fuck. about? I should have refused. Go, V. Go. And take him with you. Oh my god. I should have... I should have refused. Someone... Someone should give you a checkup. See if you're okay, Lizzie. Someone you trust. I think we should shoot I her. like what's happening to me. Lovely to meet you, V. Now go. Go. Yeah, guys. Something is happening to her. Is this an, a bad idea walking out this room here? Should I be... I can't go out this way. Crap. Because now people are going to see me with this body. And why do I have my gun out? This was a really bad idea. I guess it's no tell motel, right? Oh no, we're just going to leave him with the trash? <gasps> I'm a horrible person. Oh, I'm a horrible person. Oh my gosh. That. Oh, I'm awful. We are going to hell. Yep, I'm going to help. Oh. Wait until evening. Oh, sp <laughs> because you're way too late. Some crew taking you along as bait? That a compliment? You look... different. <sighs> Try again. Maybe you'll find some charm third time around. I'll read Lizzie Wizzy's message later. Looks different because she's going out with Johnny! Ooh, look at you! Hey, Rogue. Ready? Again, you. We going? Are you jealous? Where's Joni? Couldn't make it after all. Just look at her watch. 
Uh, you look amazing. She does look? look good. Wow. That Johnny's wow or yours? When's he gonna show? I'm just the driver. I'm just your driver. See, you keep him on a short leash. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. <laughs> Let's go. Silver Madame. Pixel Cloud, your favorite place? Once, probably. I should probably Haven't check if there's anyone behind me. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't like this view. Drive-ins went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Sounds like a preem place for What's a day. Silver Pixels? Thought so too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there. A million years ago. And he never so did. it wasn't his idea. Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was Ooh. blowing up our Osaka HQ. Can we go? How do I hoot? Oh, is it square? Yeah, it's square. All right, V. Tell me what's going on. For real. Meaning... Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? Well, Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time with you. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. Right. Where do I go? Upstairs? Downstairs? Oh, fuck it. It's downstairs. Sorry, I'm sorry. Whoa. Rogue? Just taking it all in. A selfless Johnny Silverhand. Can you Apparently you're a positive go? influence on him. Excuse hey, me! Uh, <laughs> this is too much. Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 the worst driver ever. In Cyberpunk. In real life, I am a decent. What happened? Can you just calm the F down? You're driving as bad as I am. Please, can you all drive faster? Where the fuck are we going? This way, yeah, yeah, yeah. So twisty and turny. Oh, we're going up this effing mountain again. Uh, where we came to evict all those people from Impala in automatics or something like that. Squeeze me. Oh! Oh, no. I'm sorry. Ooh, that was nearly bad. I'm surprised she hasn't made a comment about my driving yet. This is not where you take someone out on a date. Here what we are. Is this place? Silver pixel cloud. I don't believe it. It really has been years. Managed to shut the whole thing down. V, try to get inside. No shit. Can't stop us, won't stop us. We asked you out on a date. All right. Do your thing. I'll watch. Come on, we're just climbing here. Money! Money! 
Messages, severance. Okay. Gotta be the past, this. Guess we really are going to the movies. Use the code to unlock the door. Change of plans. We'll be shutting down Silver Pixel Cloud, Night City, at the end of the year. There will be no severance packages offered. As stated clearly in the contract, employees are not entitled to severance pay if they may transfer to another company location. We are happy to offer employees a choice between our Rockford or, oh, sorry, Loretta locations. The new positions will be on a short-term contract without benefits, as those locations are also slated to close within six months. The code to the main entrance has been changed to 000 so that everyone can come and collect their personal fix. Okay, contact Mark Siddons. He's the main... He's the man in charge. <sighs> All right, let's go. I got skills. What do you mean? I don't got skills. Wham right, bam sha la la. Well done. Okay, Johnny. Try and get the projector started. I'll get us some seats. Sure thing. Exactly where I was supposed to take her 50 odd years ago. Right, let's go check the projector. Get into the projector booth. Can I quickly run around here? Hello. Oh, that was way too high. That was way too aggressive. Uh, hello. See anything up here? Yes, there is. Ooh, there's a poster. Okay, nothing. There's a poster at the back of here. Back of the screen. Sorry guys, I totally ruined. <laughs> uh, was it this one? High Priestess? No. Is it this one? The Hermit? No. Okay, let's just look at it. It's that one. Okay. Fuck off. Wrong one. No, come on. Taylor, stop. There you go. The Lovers. The Lovers is the card of dico dichotomies. Dichotomies. It points to the contradictions that clash within each of us and of the challenge of striking a balance between extremes. The Lovers is also the card of dilemmas. Like the fool who stands at the crossroads crossroads unable to make his choice uh so obviously it's about johnny and rogue you got stuff in you no anything here no okay I've done exploring. Let's go. Let's go. Entrance is over here. Thanks, Johnny. I needed your help for that. Hair wax. Okay, looks like I found the projector. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. You happen to know how to get it up and run. About to see. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. Looks like a spurt of runny shit. V, v. we're at a drive-in. Movie's the last thing we care about. <laughs> Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. Bushido will give you that. Thanks, V. Don't mention it. Just this time, don't go roaming around town. And no tattoos, and don't clean out my cred. All right, V, run along. 
I'll take it from here. Have fun, you crazy kids. Grabbed us the best spots. Hop on up. I'm sure everyone in this area will realize that this is going on because they'll hear it and see it. This is how you imagine this evening going? Always knew things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie. Never imagined they'd change this much. Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. Sure, I lured you to the movies to get laid, by the way. I like the rug of 2077. But I like 2077, Rogue. A far inferior version. Why? That's not true. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? Hmm. 2015, I was in my honors year of my study so my last year of studying accounting sciences if i could do it all over again hmm taking a while to mull that one over i don't think i would do it all over again because if i hadn't done that i wouldn't have gotten to where i am uh no never did anything i wouldn't do again i'd kill smasher do anything not to lose you <laughs> They got to carry. Yeah, I do carry. <laughs> huh? I mean, guy I deserved it. it. Always, Always trying so damn hard. Fucking hell, Johnny. I was being serious. I don't know hey, if I'm hey, supposed hey. to choose specific dialogue. Nothing. It's to just... romance her. I had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all that. Did I mess it up? Sure, that's it. Nothing about Grayson or Smasher. What? What's Smasher got to do with anything? Getting the sense you still got a thorn in your side there. Cause I do. I'm irate, disappointed, but rather not think about it now. I like a necklace. Got a feeling you're not telling me something. Only thing that matters is I came back to you. Jeez, it, this, this dialogue options are making me think I have to say very specific things to romance her. All that counts is I'm back with you. Think that's way better than any what if. But all we got's this one night. More than I expected. It's more than I ever could have asked for. Rogue. I'm here on borrowed time in a borrowed body, but I'm here. So now when the timeline was it her and alt and johnny like was alt before or after rogue Johnny, I can't. It's not right. 
You mean towards V? I get it. I thought this is what you wanted. Mean it not fair to V? Not fair to you. Tried so hard to pretend nothing's changed. To pretend I'm the same rogue you knew. Actually managed to fool myself for a little. <sighs> get back on my own. Rogue! Oh. Fuck! Uh, did I mess up? Which, this one looks different. Is this to bring V back? Or is it to keep him? Because this one looks different. I think I messed it up! <sighs> you okay? Rogue's gone. Yep. Guess things did not go swimmingly. Nope. It was gonna be a nice night at the drive-in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. I messed it up. Any guesses? Maybe it's you. Maybe she's lost interest. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? Weird's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. Could be something to that. Oh, yes. Gotta mull it over. Yes, For now, yes. take me to North Oak. That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No. Carrie. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper. Okay. Hold up a minute. I think I really wrecked that one. Uh... Let's have a moment. How'd you imagine this date going? Either choice, show sure, lured you in runner, do anything not to lose you. Either choice, only thing that matters, come back to you. It's more than I expect. This, uh, any choices during the scene seem to have the same ending to blistering love mission. Oh, okay. After the scene ends, V will wake up back in control, having a conversation with Johnny. Once you finish speaking with him, the blistering love mission will end. This leads into holding on. Okay, so it was going to go this way no matter what. You received a transfer from unknown. Thank you. Glad I could help. You need to be careful, Kay. I'm worried about you. Okay, so we got that three thousand something dollars from her. Ish man. Meet Johnny by the North Oak sign. Yes, Johnny. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because Grayson was saying stuff basically implying that rogue has done some shady stuff and sh what did he say again ah oh, yeah he just said something basically implying that she's done something dodgy but i can't remember if it was specific or not like i can't remember how much detail he went into Hmm, what cost me $63? Ugh, eddies. Whoa, whoa. 
whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is this ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck a mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Want to pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. Can you hear the... So, I gotta hit Carrie's digs, look around, critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed, attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person? Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. Uh, uh huh. First for Carrie, then for you. Mm hmm. First Rogue, now Carrie. Who's next on the list of conjugal visits? Conjugal visits. Nobody. Just so happens the list of people I consider friends and who are still alive is pretty damn short. Exactly why I need to talk to Carrie. What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. What could happened? Just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Uh, okay, want to know what to expect there. No way made an exception for Rogue. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first. We gotta get into that house. Okay. Just let me know when you want to take the wheel. You can hear there's still some like weird spooky noises when V talks. It's like the signs of bad things to come. It's it's giving me um, a Red Dead Redemption vibes when Arthur was getting really sick and was coughing uh, with the TV. Okay, we need to figure out what's going on with Carrie. But what does it really have to do with Rogue? Is it because Carrie will know what's happening with Rogue? Look at this fancy ass place. Can I just jump over? Whoa! Can I just take out your security? Was I supposed to ring the doorbell? Oh my god, maybe there's a doorbell option? There's literally no doorbell. Okay, Judy. Hey you, got a little something for you. Should help get you get on your feet. Who knows, maybe it will come in handy down the line. It's waiting for you over at mine near the kitchen counter. Yeah, what is it? She's not going to tell us. Not 
big on surprises, are you? Nothing super special. Don't get your hopes up. Couple of energy bars to keep your battery charged. That's so sweet. Oh, and I found a 12 gauge. <laughs> Got it some time ago from the marks. Don't really see myself needing it. I would love it. Uh, no such thing as too much iron. Uh, that's <laughs> like a fly to ointment should have figured watch out for yourself okay i know you've got some shit going on <coughs> and that you're playing a high stakes game but you're too young for me to be visiting your grave just saying <coughs> well that got a little darker than i needed anyway just be careful She's so sweet. She got me energy bars and a shotgun. Best girlfriend ever. Okay, so we've got two people here. <laughs> Carrie's turret bot. Oh, he's got robots. Container door. Carrie's security. Sorry, not turret. Security bot. Huh. Oh my gosh, it's got a hat. Why are you showing me this weird ass route? I'm so confused. Oh shit. Maybe there really is a better option. Okay, he's moving. Wow. Kerry? You're a dime, the unauthorized biography. <laughs> Surprisingly, Samurai never achieved major commercial success because the voice that directed the group's trajectory was that of Demagogue, Demagogue, Frontman Silverhand, rather than that of Eurodyne, whose main aspiration was the pursuit of the music itself. Silverhand never possessed grand ambitions for creative expression. Instead, he was hell-bent on a personal path of devastation. These destructive tendencies had significant influence on Kerry and persisted long after the Arasaka Tower attack and Johnny's disappearance. Only following an extended hiatus did Eurodyne prove to the world his creative potential. He captured the imaginations and hearts of thousands of fans, securing him a spot in the company of music's legends. Ouch, Johnny, you hear that? You're just really bad. Is this all glass? Whoa! This is so cool! Can't open? Okay, he has a lot of security. Can we... Rayfield rear wheel drive. Whoa, look at this car. Fancy AF. Fuck, we have to go this way. Quickly, 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 open. Fugly is seafood barf. What the hell? Hope it was expensive at least. Something's got to justify this level of tacky. Oh, it's a mess. Find Kieran's villa. 
explosion in Zeta Tech Lab, 31 dead. Why would he have so many copies of that? Who does... Why is a shoe here? Okay, we got a shoe. We got PJ pants. We got a guitar. Liburum Arbitarium Review. Pretentious banality dr oh, dunked in a sloppy symphonic sauce. The chromatic rock pretender at worst. Caricature at best. Okay. Heavy. Okay. Sure. Heavy riffs. Check. Unique vocal growl. Check. Essence of the 60s. Check. But all of it gets drowned out in a flood of cliche dark tones. That's too much for even neo kitsch gen fans to swallow. There's no punch, no curb stomp of edge. Honestly, by the standards of the genre, it's effing. It's an effing lullaby. I'd love to put this review to bed or in an unmarked grave, but I haven't even talked the lyrics. They make me roll my eyes so violently. I sprained an optic nerve. Nowhere was it worse than in the titular track Libre Libre Oh my god, Liberum Arbitarium. The band's anthem about the violations of human free will. What's the enigma e enigmatic evil depriving us of what matters most in life? Yep, you guessed it, corpse. I yawn so loud I put the singer's growl to shame. The latest album from Tainted Overlord is nothing short of a chromatic rock mix you burned a decade ago erased from memory then found wedged under your couch next to a dusty carlson burger diehards of the band will find something to scratch that itch but anyone else looking for a fresh sound is better off blowing a concussion grenade in a cookware outlet so was kerry's new band um this tainted overlord and this is a review obviously of the album or at least of the song sorry i'm trying to get the right angle and is this now the fall of kerry so he was supposed in the beginning he the first one that we read he what found redemption or people started to recognize how good he actually was is and now this is his fall all from grace. Oh, fuck. Cookie cutter crap straight from a catalog. Doubt Carrie picked this. Always ate out. Always. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, shoes. We had a big party. Some sushi. Pizza, burger. A keg. Someone dropped their bow on the floor. I pick up your pal. Uh, what was that? Wicked bad Whoa. collection. Did well, not notice that. Now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. Vintage balalaika. Vintage guitar, astral rock, delief, unknown, but I like a 2029. 20, Vintage guitar, delief, astral rock, 2043. This one's gold. Oh, uh, how much for that axe? like that run us many eddies. Forget it, we couldn't afford it. That's Carrie's fave. Uh, no, 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 no. Can we just scan this? Can we scan it? They leave Asherock 2023. Okay, we'll go in there sometime soon. Let's just quickly look around more. Ah, oh, beautiful butterfly Carrie emerging from his silky samurai Christmas. Silky samurai Christmas. 
Wow, okay, Kerry, what's happening? Zeta Tech Main style guide look something during formal parties. Probably look your best. Wrong way. Sports. Selena's Grand Prix opens soon. Oh, hold on. A knife. V is dirt. She pretty. She ooh. Mean. The Chronicles of T Tiana. T. T. -t oh. <laughs> Titania. Titania. <laughs> Tiana. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. All right. I'll give him that one. What? The car? It's ugly. It's fancy, but ugly. How do you even see through the... See through the front? <laughs> okay, so I actually want... Before we go upstairs, I want to... Through to... <laughs> here? Showering. Okay, let's go upstairs then. Before I open the door, I want to really see everything. What was he reading here? Smart rifle. Okay, Kerry, what is going on? Thing, what's going on, Kerry? Ooh. Yes, let's read about Lizzie Wizzy. Who is Lizzie Wizzy pretending to be? We are who we pretend to be. I've pretended to be everything. That's why I found the truth. Lizzie Wizzy is an artist par excellence her work includes award-winning albums and concert tours film appearances as well as for lack of a better term conceptual performance art her latest artistic obsession features the medium of brain dance in recent interviews lizzie has mused about the boundary between our documentation of reality versus our active shaping of it could that mean Lizzy Wizzy plans to scroll her own BD? We can only dream the chance to live just one day in her chrome skin. Fans with good while. It, do you think that's why she's doing all this crazy shit? Hello? No, can't open. Is this your Probably bed? the only actual necessity in this whole pad. The bed. It's a bra. Corporate Wars the musical. Absolutely phenomenal. True art and history. There were many explosions. <laughs> Act 1. The fourth corporate war is underway. Saburo Arasaka, Saburo Arasaka is displeased with the progress of his son, K. 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 Yeah. K. 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 E. K. Who is commanding Arasaka's forces? He instructs K to defeat the enemy in order to prove himself as a worthy successor. K desires above all to gain the acceptance and pride of his cruel father. So the so he devises a scheme to place all blame of the war's outbreak squarely on Militech. Their conversation is overheard by Sarah, a Militech agent, and also the beloved adoptive daughter of General Donald Landy. Sarah concludes that the only way to quickly end the bloody conflict is to assassinate K. General Landy comforts his daughter and gives her courage. Soon, Andrew, a young idealist, idea idol later of Saburu, Saburo arrives in Night City. His dream is to find the last living seagull in the world. Oh, that's depressing. So he attempts to stow away aboard an Arasaka ship. Then he is discovered, apprehended, and mocked by Arasaka security personnel. Meanwhile, Sarah is prepping, preparing her ambush against Kay, who is due to inspect the ship the very same day. 
when her target appears, Sarah is poised to fire her gun when suddenly her eyes lock with Andrews. Time stops. Sparks fly. Young love is born. After a moment, Sarah shakes free of her daze and fires at Kay. She misses. Andrew then intervenes, shielding Kay with his own body. The militech agents must flee the scene. Kay has noticed the twinkle in the eyes of the young lovers when their eyes met under the guise of gratitude for saving his life he decides to use andrew's bait in a trap uh, for sarah he orders his scientists to heal the young man's gunshot wound and secretly installs a synth heart a synthetic heart containing a nuclear bomb he formally accepts the young grateful man into arasaka <coughs> armed forces and knowing Andrew's reason for stowing away he convinces him that Militech is responsible for the destruction of the marine ecosystem and seagull population <laughs> wow act two Sarah returns to General Lundy after failing her mission with the father's love he is able to forgive her comfort her and offer and offer her an a chance at redemption. He assigns Sarah a lead, a oh, two lead. <coughs> the charge on Arasaka Tower and end his uh, this nightmarish war for good. Still smitten from their brief encounter, Sarah and Andrew simultaneously come up with the same plan to search for the other in cyberspace. By chance, they find each other at a virtual coral reef. At first, they are overwhelmed with the unbridled passion of new love, but quickly realize they can never be together. Andrew erroneously accuses Militech of destroying the original coral reef, causing Sarah to realize that her beloved has become a member of Arasaka's forces. Both corporations are preparing for the final confrontation. Andrew and Sarah mourn their unrequited love. General Landy worries over the risk his soldiers face. Saburo reminds his son that he has only one more chance to earn his father's pride and respect. Kay has come to the conclusion that his victory cannot be assured, so he decides instead to blow up Arasaka Tower and pin the blame on Militech in hopes of earning his father's love in death. What? Sarah's unit enters Arasaka Tower. The two lovers meet as battle rages on around them, but neither can bring themselves to harm each other. Kay attempts to detonate the bomb in Andrew's heart, but the detonator fails. Struck by a nefarious idea, Kay instead shoots Sarah, killing her on the spot. Andrew's heart breaks with grief, causing the bomb inside to detonate. In the moment before the explosion, Andrew gazes up into the sky and witnesses a seagull soaring overhead. The nuclear bomb explodes, destroying the tower, the young man, the seagull, and his dreams. Andrew's lament lament sorry i dreamed a dream of an endless sea arasaka at the helm today my dreams are nothing but mist and i i'm nothing but down my eyes which never wish never to see again covered in a sea foam veil of gray i now see only the black abyss my chrome heart gnarled in pain arasaka corp bought my soul in exchange for blood and mourn the strength in me has forever died and a corporate was born oh hell that was interesting another something 17 dead 42 worn wounded kibble and scop wow that musical was actually really interesting Dr. Havoc and Raiden. Oh, hello. Overture. A treadmill. Get this, we couldn't open, right? All right, let's go back down. 
Mm. Where was where was it? It was here. Looks like he's showering. Alone too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Not yet. Uh, I think we've seen everything. Okay. <clears throat> He's gonna take the guitar. <sighs> Feels so much better. Now let's see what you're up for show and what you're actually strummable. Play chipping in, never fade away, Archangel. Uh, chipping in. Keep playing. Hmm. <laughs> All right. He's gonna know it's Johnny now. Johnny? See? Carrie? Carrie? No. <laughs> no. no That's some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? <laughs> There's a test. Could just play you another song. I want to play another me. song. I told you to stop being a pussy. Did you? Huh? Johnny fucking Silverhead. Oh my gosh. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Surprise. Motherfucker! Ouch. Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh fucking contraire! Been waiting 50 years to do that. So you changed a bit. Nice rack. Sporting a new style? You look good, yeah, what about you? Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh man, I need a drink. Alright, come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? Uh, rude. This is V, and you tell me what happened to your throat. As long as you tell me what you got in your throat. Always did complain I couldn't carry a tune. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Oh my god, they even Mornings, do music? Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all where this time. you want time. me to sit? Aha! Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life, well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Uh, see for yourself, won't be a dry eye in the house. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck! Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played yeah. absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. So in touch with the rest of the band, depression stuff is a true screen seems those were good times in hindsight porch yeah who's that who's that louise the ex-wife i thought the what <laughs> your kid ex-wife how long did last eh hey, too long but don't worry it worked out well for her 
Gave her my house in Tokyo, cars, kids. Yeah. Kids? Pretty well for you, too, then. I thought he was gay. Um, maybe he's bi? Uh, seems those were good times, I say. Never, never got what Denny saw in him. Never did get what Denny saw in that guy. I mean, smart, smart imp, imp, that one. Maybe too mm -hmm. smart for the company she kept. Nah, Denny always went for losers, incapable of dressing themselves. Oh, Hank was perfect. Half a brain and high all the time. She got to rescue him over and over again. Why'd she never try and fix me? <laughs> Would have had to get in line, that's why. Looking at him now, those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had an Ed do our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Stuff about you being depressed. It true? Nope. Promo stratagem. Suicide attempts, too. Think putting a bullet through your skull will help your sales? Didn't work for you. Nobody remembers Samurai. Now you're just butthurt because I managed fine without you. Fuck me. Got no answer to that. Still in touch with the gang? Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Oh, that's who she Works is. Works for N54 News. Good. <laughs> Track down Denny and Henry if you want. Nancy's best Isis. Maybe. Okay. Get together. Oh well, we knew that you from Mrs. We just jam or something. That was to us. Best <laughs> Isis. Damn, Nance really went for it. Though all I hear is part-time stripper with a thing for ancient Egypt. Shame you died. Sure, she would have welcomed your input. How is she in general? Besides having nothing to do with music. Could ask her yourself. Henry probably killed his own liver. Nah, I would've heard if he was gone. Got mutual friends. Few calls and I should be able to track him down. Denny might still be in the biz. Actually had talent. And a spine. Yeah, released something not too long ago. Moved to North Oak, too. You just said you weren't in touch. Didn't hear it from her. I think she might be avoiding me. You ever leave this house? Nope. You wanna bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. Let's do it. But I won't have to explain what happened. All this? Nah, we'll spare him. Hella boring story. <laughs> Biochips, Arasaka's evil schemes, magic pills. We'll just say you're my new output. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck yeah. Okay. Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Okay, so that's why I'm not there. Figure it out with me. Why we sure. had to uh, wait so long? You two get along? Sure. Kid, Kid loves, loves me. Yeah, I bet. That's why we had to wait so long until Nancy would call us. How am I? Oh God, what's happening? What happened? Johnny, you okay? Uh. No. No. Ah, so. You must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You two have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Want to see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. What if we get another rogue situation? What if this ends up like the rogue thing? 
One big letdown. Nah, this is different. Carrie needs this concert. Okay, call in Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. Nancy Hartley. Okay, do I need to get access to my phone? Nancy, I mean, Bess, Bess Isis. No, this is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Wanna talk to Bess? She's not here. Pauline from Carrie Uridine's residence. When will she be back? Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Well, Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Oh. Uh, Got a bad feeling, V. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Think we better head good. to the Totentons. Sick. I think so, because that does not sound good. Why? Kerry, are you coming with? Kerry, not coming with us. How far is it? 2.2 kilometers. Should we drive? <clears throat> Ooh, it is far. That was close. Fuck all starting to come together. No media would ever go for the Taunton tents. Except Nancy. What is it? Can I quickly see... Oh, my relationship with Johnny's at 60%? That's not good. I mean, it could be higher. Influencer. What is this? Your inner clock is showing that the final hour is nigh. If you want to live, you need to find a way into. Okay, I was just looking at this. Only 60%? Uh... Kerry. Oh, I can't read my message right now. What is this place? Are you... What is this place? Hello? Do you have any clothes on? That is a brave outfit. What the hell is this place? Am I heavy? No, not yet. But I know I've got a lot of weapons on me. I can probably dismantle. You okay, buddy? Uh, okay. She came here to cover some story with Maelstrom. Oh my god, you okay? Oh my lord. I'm so 
okay, everyone is not doing okay in this place. Oh, Jesus. You scared me, sir. What's this way? Can I get that side? Okay, we can go right round. Hi. Like your style. Thanks. Minimalist. Use that chrome just like that. <laughs> Start moving. Hold on a second. There's other places to see here. What's up, guys? Nothing? Okay. I'm gonna need you to fuck off now! Totem tents too? What? Fuck yeah! God. Flood four! Press the button! Well, my fingers are numb. It's a club. Hear that? Tinnitus today. All right, guys. This one I like. Later. Oh. Go on. What a You'll place. blend in. No problem. Will I? Do I have the right outfit on for this? Say what you want to be, okay? At least Royce had some fucking charisma. And what did that do for us? You personally? Don't know. Let me Fuck! No fucking way! Oh, wait. Remember that tape from All Foods? That's the Rimbo who clipped the spider bot! No, 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 no! Wouldn't be that stupid to show her here! Uh... You the one? No. Hi. Looking for Bess Isis. <coughs> Guess I gotta spell it out. You the one who clipped the flathead? Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's her. Uh, look at this. A chance at a nick in the barrel. Get the fuck out! Now! Patricia. That's the all foods, punk. I'm not blind. What do you want? Watch out for that one. You the one in charge now? No. A lot's changed since Royce went, but not that much. What happened to Royce? Militech happened. Think you know why? Didn't I kill him? Best Isis. Oh, wait, mean anything is always the one I saved. You work with her? No, just gotta talk. Heard she's here. She's here, but you talk to Brick first. Let's call what happens to you. I'll take you. I thought I killed one of them. Brick took over for Royce after the All Foods incident. Seems like you all came out ahead then. Probably thinking Brick will be grateful, huh? What? That'd disappoint you? No! And Brick's not in a position to demonstrate feelings of any kind! Alternative. You mean we don't give a fuck what people think? Okay, then let's say. I only wish music. that in the clubs there were What's more people, but I'm sure it would be Look, too lady, crazy to you animate that. To slap a label on us. No, I'm trying to understand you. Chaos, talking. A, a wall of noise and distortion. It must all form some sort of system or style. Uh, that's base. Base ISIS. Hi, can I take Brick. your gun? Got another guest! V, what a surprise. What can I do for you? That's it. Looks like I'm interrupting. Ramping up, actually. Bessie has overstayed her welcome. 
Yet I still haven't gotten answers to all my questions. Make something up. You're a journalist. Should be second nature. Say it's an orgy of noise or whatever. I uh, should up the security on the Ibunike. Ibunike. Seems your people are still mad at me. Seems your people are holding a grudge. <laughs> hold those better than they hold their iron. Show a little understanding. Try not to piss them off. Should, Should up your hustle on the Ebonike. Just there the other day. Your people didn't put up much of a fight. Oh. In that case, you should go back. I'll see to it they take good care of you. <laughs> Chill. Just some friendly advice. Appreciate it. Carrie Uridine sent me with some biz for Bess. Carrie? Did he suddenly remember I exist? You can go. Huh? Just like that? I ask you. No, that's what I thought. Trying to run a business here. Thanks, Brick. That was enlightening. Let's go. Let's Delta. Appreciate it. Thanks. Can I take your gun? Bye. Can I have a look around at the club? You can't bring me here and not let me look around. Can I come back? Rick seems all right. Sure. Just too bad he doesn't know squat about music. That's what you wanted to talk to him about? Yeah. Tinnitus. The Totentad sound. What I got out of Brick was Scott. Hold on. I really just want to look at this whole place. Hi. What's in here? Washroom? <sighs> What's here? Back. Party, party, karate. Some people are having a really good time, and this guy here is not having a good time. Can I take your gun? Wanna feel something? Like really feel something? Wow. I like your skirt. Yo, look at that booty! Booty be popping! What's here? Can't go. Not for, not for the likes of me. bringing me here can I just read something here done Patricia Ori stink and Coolman are out of the way so if you hear anyone else shitting on brick ping me you can catch me later tonight oh. I know I probably wasn't supposed to come here oh wait we ready? He was like, why were you in there? My bad. Why is the elevator so damn slow in this dump?
Car's outside. So what? Giving up on your story? I won't learn anything about Maelstrom's music? Got lots of footage. Need to look through it, see what I can patch together. You wanna say anything, Johnny? You haven't seen your friend here in a long time. Burn, okay, come on. Push it. Fuck. Just hope the car's still where I parked it. Uh, I have a bad Brick feeling about this. Brick was the safe option. Really should have talked to the asses from tinnitus. You got some sort of in with them? Brick invited me to one of their gigs. Problem is the lineup changes every time. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, could have been worse. This way you got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. I'm headed straight back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. Conquer like this. Hope it gets us there in one piece. <laughs> Johnny. Alright. So what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. Gotta stand in for Johnny. Gigs being his honor. Gonna be a gig in Silverhand's honor. What's got into Carrie all of a sudden? Thought he got over this ages ago. Well, guess it doesn't really matter. What's in it for me? <sighs> That's for you and Carrie to figure out. I'll be sure to ask him. How do you know, Brick? Saved his life once. Oh, well, well, okay. Ever thought about joining Trauma Team? Brick was the one we saved. Got you, got you. And I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we killed Royce, didn't we? That's how I got Chaos. It's Lizzy Wizzy. Okay, I am just going to skip the ride. Um, just because I see this video is already pretty long. We're here. Hop out. All right, so the concert? <sighs> Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. I think that was it. That was the Went mission. pretty damn well. Now call Carrie. Hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nance? Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Hmm. Awesome. Had some problems with Maelstrom. You track down the rest of the band. Did we have troubles? I guess I did. Managed shit to contact talking. Henry or Denny. Just Henry so far. Dragged him out of rehab. 
Great story, actually. Henry didn't know. Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. What, me too? Why? Gonna play with us, aren't you? You gotta meet the others. Send you the address. Okay, uh, holy shit, Henry's on board, way to go, check, check out a rehab of his own free will through the window, he he, some nurse tried to stop us, I oh, so they broke him out, at first I thought you wanted an autograph, but she didn't even recognize me, tell you the rest later, how's it going with Nancy, wow, okay, do we have a, fast travel on the way don't hit me don't hit me wow judy is really missing us uh hola calabra Calabasita, thinking about you, wanna guess what? Wait, are you trying to text right now? <laughs> Wondering if I can do a double black foot flip with a full twist. That if I were an animal, I'd totally be a dog. Because in that case, I'd better find a nice quiet spot. Wow, what year is it? 2000? <laughs> Please, you know brain dance gets the job done much better mm, think you should show me some time ain't nothing like the real thing baby yeah i think i saw something like that in an old movie what super weird <laughs> no i forgot what i was gonna write uh maybe it'll come back to me talk soon oh wow okay I'll tell what I'll say one thing. <laughs> the text messages with Judy after we get together is so much better than the text messages with River once we got together. One point one kilometer. I mean, I just want to fast travel there. Please. Yeah. Oh, we probably have to go into the fifty-four news with a breaking development. The story of the teens abducted by Anthony Harris, Hello? also as Peter Pan, has reached a happy ending. Thanks to an anonymous tip, the NCPD managed to reach them in time. The rescued teens remain in critical but stable condition. This Harris is old news. The boys aged between 13 and 18 on his abandoned. Nicola! There's the love! Nicola. somewhere up there why am I driving why, what's wrong with this bike have I totally like trashed this bike whoa see those what, yeah, happened, what here? happened here she fuck. must have been renovating Henry must have borrowed the truck oh fuck. gonk always was good at improvising Maybe they're home. Try the intercom.
Okay. She must have kidnapped him. Cause she mad. Right then. Guess we keep looking. Follow the tracks. I think she was mad and she kidnapped him. Can I just break in? I'm sure I can break in, but let's have a look. Well, Carrie's here. His car's here. See, Carrie beat us here. Oh, what the fuck? You fucking god! Oh, here he is. Oh, boy. Danny, what? Sounds sadly for What are you doing here? Uh, good you're here. We got a problem. This is really your house? Oh. This is your fucking pool? You're gonna pay for this, you piece of shit! You bet I will! Just so I can come back again! Maybe then, you'll tell me why the hell you left me to die in the street! Left Is this supposed to, to be die? Henry's surprise? Uh, yeah, I, I obviously missed a die. few beats. Looks like why am I he was holding some sort of grudge. So he flooded the get pool the with concrete. Out. Henry did often get what, emotional. What now? Already? No Wait, I'm so confused. Tour. Know what happened between them? Introduce me From to the what fam. I've come to understand, one day, Denny disappeared without a word, then hid from Henry. I imagine that wasn't too I hard in not, his state of mind, either out of it off. or in rehab. Yep. Oh, what? That is, until I gave Henry her address. Oh, don't know okay. what, that I lost I, years of my life to a scop bag like you. I thought... Yeah? That the girl didn't that know he it? was here the v. whole time. Meanwhile, it's the other way around. What about the concert? You. Haven't gotten a chance to ask Denny yet. Doesn't look good, though. V, talk to them. Carrie will just make it worse. <sighs> so when Henry Not really finally... my base. Okay, got Go, it. go. They'll get past it in a sec. Carrie didn't piss... This your backup? In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. About the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? Look, it's awkward. Carrie considers you both friends. What a sensitive guy. Shit. Given he's the one who set this flaming turd bag on my doorstep. We're bringing back Samurai. One night only. That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet. But no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stain. Danny! No, no way. Either him or me. Choose. Danny digs in her heels. We're done. How's it going? Like shit, man. Danny wants me out of the gig. And we already agreed on everything. What? Carrie's paying you? <laughs> That's what this is about? Fuck. It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn. Don't make me choose. Actually, it's your decision. Maybe if I knew the story, looks like we'll be missing one person. Maybe if someone would tell me what happened. Are you blind? Fucker filled my pool with cement. Maybe he had a good reason. Really? A reason? Looks like we'll be missing. Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Then he's on a control kick, set in conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Real helpful. Oh, uh, we hear that weird echoey noise when we talk to Johnny. Got it. Uh, rather jam with Henry. Run Let's play with Denny. Gotta go without one or the other. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Should be able to borrow someone else for one gig. Won't be the same, though. It won't ever be the same, Carrie. I don't know who does what. Like, who does what in the band? Let's go with Denny. <sighs> if we gotta choose, let's play with Denny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me! Listen, I'll get you- You know what, Carrie? Fuck you! Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. What do you mean she's the one who's making a big deal about this? You made all a big right. deal. We when made you contact. came and filled this place with cement. Set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. Fuck. 
Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Golden plate okay, of baseball bats. Okay, about all we can bats. do for now. Except wait for Nancy to call. What is a cold? May I ask? Just gold plated baseball bat. Ooh, the damage is cool. 100% bleed chance. Infused with Denny's Rage. High chance to apply bleeding. Low chance to apply stun. It's very slow though, but wow. That's a cool bat. Can I not equip it? Uh, I can't. Draw weapon. Whoa. That is cool. It is slow. Damn. Leave in call. Okay, let's have a look around at this fella. Can I go inside? Hi. Everything okay? No, just the sight of that douchewad reminded me how not okay it is. Don't worry, though. I'll be past it by showtime. Wonder what Henry did to her. So his fault after all. Well, normally, Denny's not a raging bitch. Stop, well, Johnny. I'm pretty sure she knew Henry wanted this concert. Hmm, doubt she really gave a fuck about the pool. What did he do to her to make her pretend that she wasn't in town for how many years like 30 years all right guys i think now is a good time to end it off for this video uh oh hi sorry it played out like that <gasps> what was that noise Okay, all right, we're gonna end it off here, friends. I'm probably gonna do some gigs in between videos. Most likely, I'll want to finish all the gigs. And then we will just roll on into Act 3. Um, well, we're in Act 3 already, but further into Act 3, we've got the Like a Supreme killing in the name, so we complete other games until she calls us, so we'll probably get that now. Um, uh, yeah, so, yes, <laughs> nothing else to say. Okay, thank you so much for watching, friends. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.